Hi, we're back in Fusion 360 and we're going to take a look at the Revolve tool. So uh, we're going to be creating a sketch. We're then going to use that sketch to create a body with the Revolve tool. And then we're going to take, create a component from that body. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. So we're going to go ahead and click Create Sketch. We're going to, we're going to select uh, the, um, a plane that is standing up from the, from the XY plane in this case. And we're just gonna go ahead and create a line to revolve around. So that's our first thing. We have to have a straight line uh, that we're gonna use as the axis of rotation, okay? The next thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna create a, um, a profile that we're then gonna revolve around that line. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and create kind of an organic shape just for, just for demonstration purposes here. Okay, so... Uh, Okay, so we're going to create a line and then a spline tool. And I'm going to purposefully create a shape that is kind of difficult to dimension. Okay, so there's our spline. Okay, so we have this closed shape and we have our, we have our axis of rotation. So let's go ahead and we're going to create, let's say that we have some kind of a base on here. Trouble creating non-realistic things. Right click OK. All right, and then we can go ahead and we can trim out just to make it a contiguous uh, uh, two-dimensional area. So here we have our shape. We have our kind of complex profile here. All right, then we're going to go ahead and finish sketch. And we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and click the Revolve tool. So notice that we have two on our Revolve um, dialog. We have two... Um, selections that need to be made. One is a profile. So there's only one available profile, and that's a closed two-dimensional space. Then we have our axis, and we have a couple of different axes. We could use any, for example, we could use this straight line that is on the, the uh, object itself. We could also, uh, if we go ahead and click cancel, we could also use this line that is outside of the, the body here, or sorry, the profile, okay? So there is, a, there is our revolve. It's very straightforward. We can also limit, the, we can do an angle, we can go to, um, uh, so for example, if we didn't wanna, you know, if we wanted this to be 180 degrees instead of 360 uh, or something like that. All right, so there is our revolve. So you need a closed two-dimensional surface and a, and a uh, which is our profile and then an axis to rotate around. So we've created our body. Now we're going to go ahead and right click and create components from bodies. Now we have our component and then we're going to go to, we're going to, we're going to give this a physical material. So we're going to right click on component one and we're going to go ahead and say that this is, a, this is aluminum. So we're going to drag it over and drop it. Okay, so that's the Revolve tool. Uh, best of luck.